Hello, my name is Adam Bina. Today I'd like to show you how to communicate uh, with web sockets between wars. So let's start with the client part, which is harder. And um, I would like to launch with the standard Maven archetype. And I would like to call it Ticker. Um, so there's just a reference to the Java 7 API, so it's simplistic. So I have that. And then let's start with the ticker. So and package ticker boundary ticker. So and uh, this should be a singleton because I would like to be eagerly initialized and the method connect should be invoked during the phase. So, and now we have uh, client endpoint config. Dot and dot, uh, and by the way, this new is so always do it wrong. Dot builder dot create so um, dot build so unusual syntax what it means the builder is created with this method and then the client endpoint config is created with the build method method of the builder instance so usually the the usual builder would be with new this is uh, unusual and uh, we need container provider it's a method get and what we get back is the uh, WebSocket container. Uh, so just shorten this to container and we have that. So what happens here? So we have the container, this is initialized, and now we can communicate with the other side. So um, what usually happens, I would like to have a um, ticker endpoint. Put in control. This is going to be the ticker endpoint ticker endpoint and this will extend the endpoint so and what I would like to remember is the session this is important and what I can do with this session I can register a message handler and this is also a little bit unusual because what you would like to do is you would like to create not the message handler rather than a handler which is able to process whole messages of type string and this message will be passed here so what we created like a message listener and uh, let's or just it's okay message so i will call this um last message last message and add it here so last message last message last message so i have it and uh get last message so I have it um, so this is fine I could also send messages but this is actually not required so what will happen or what should happen is at the startup um, this would be um, uh, registered and if the session opens it uh, it will register as a listener and we will receive hopefully messages and of course what we could do we can um, make it a little bit nicer and do something like this and return a optional string so we have that uh, so ticket is done what do we need we need the um, we need the weather service So, and the weather. Weather. 
we have com x weather boundary forecast so we have the forecasts and this is going to be and let's call it nicer not forecast forecast endpoint it's not a resource rather than an endpoint and endpoint and this is going to be server endpoint with the URI forecasts and we have a method on open or open shorter and the annotation is on open on open and this is going to be the session wrong session always happens to me it has to be the WebSocket session so and now I can remember the sockets the web sockets so it opened and there will be of course a method sent weather forecast and this is fairly easy. This session get basic remote dot send text message. So this is done, it's opened and this session is sent. Uh, of course, if this session and equals null and this session is open so it has to be open and not null so we can send messages and uh, now we can do something more evolved singleton again startup and of course a ticker which is going to be a schedule and this should fire every always in the hour uh, every minute but every other second every other two seconds so we have that and here I would say this send weather forecast uh, micro clouds <laughs> new term micro clouds um, system current time milli. so we have that and uh, this is invoked here so it looks nice so we will initiate that at startup okay looks nice so what we could do and by the way i would say we just have a ticker here so i would like to start that Let's see what happens. It's called start of the server, so it takes uh, longer. And it is started. Looks good. Okay. And we have here the output. So something seems to happen. So now we can proceed with our actual ticker. So this looks nice, but having the container in place, uh, we would like to say container dot connect to server and uh, we can do that and the path so what i would like to do is i would like to create our control ticket endpoint and i would like to remember the ticket endpoint so ticket endpoint Hmm. new new ticker okay ticker of course new ticker um where was it ticker new ticker endpoint okay this ticker equals that okay we have that so done so we have the ticker 
and then connect to server, we use the uh, endpoint instance, client endpoint, and URI path. So um, this this is nice. So we can use the endpoint, which is going to be the ticker. Uh, this and the path is going to be new new URI, and it should be WS for uh, for web sockets localhost. 8080 the port uh, the uh, the name is weather and there is no resourcing nothing and the uh, endpoint is forecasts so it has to be forecasts um, okay looks good and of course we need to catch some exceptions and I will just use the multi-catch keep that okay nicer so uh, what happens now our uh, ticket endpoint will receive the messages and we could even fetch the message here so we could fetch the message for later but uh, it's actually not necessary so if we start it will hopefully connect and receive the communication so let's start that and let's see what happens so we have message microclouds and they both communicate so uh, this uh, service weather generates the messages. So if we look at that, there's a forecast endpoint. So every two seconds, a message is sent using uh, send weather forecast. So if the session is closed, not closed, it's just sent. Um, so this is simple. So the initiator part, so uh, if you will, clients, so there's actually no real client. They are both peer-to-peer -peer communication actually, but the initiator of the, is a little bit harder to implement because what we will have to do is, We'll have to bootstrap the container, which can be well hidden in 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 a uh, startup startup singleton, and the um, container can be injected from outside. And what we have here: container connect to server, so we connect the ticker with the endpoint and the URI, and the ticker endpoint receives the messages. What we co of course could do with Java, we could uh, fire events here and completely decouple this from the from the endpoints. So client-to-client um, -client, uh, work communication. Now I have an example for the microservices workshop at uh, Munich Airport. So I will show to the attendees as well. If you like to attend, attend. Uh, um, so see you at Airhex uh, microservices performance and uh, architecture workshops in Munich Airport. Um, conferences, um, upcoming talks. Um, so there are lots of conferences going on or even projects. So thank you for watching and bye.